Ayn Rand wrote her novel Atlas Shrugged in 1957. She was ahead of her time, but the latest movie she inspired, also known as Atlas Shrugged 3, is so close to how the American life is playing out today, it hardly seems like fiction. In the previous films, we met Dagny Taggart, heiress of a railroad empire. She runs her business with skill, hiring the right people, and doing the research. Her brother, who also owns a piece of the company, is mostly interested in government favors. The powers that be take care of competition through taxation and regulation. As a result, the true movers and shakers, vilified by the government as selfish, vanish from society one by one. But first they ask the mysterious question, who is John Galt? Dadney gets the answer to that question through a plane crash. Galt, who has started a secret community nearby, rescues her from the wreckage. She soon meets the vanished movers and shakers, like a doctor who doesn't want politicians running his medical practice. The community also includes a homeschooling mom, dissatisfied with schools that don't teach her children how to think. Now, people like them can benefit from their own efforts without interference. Dagny is given 30 days to decide whether to stay in the community, called the Gulch, or return home. She is torn between the two choices. With more and more people depending on government and truly talented people no longer offering their unappreciated services, society's infrastructure starts to crumble, and it's no longer so easy to fool the people. Atlas Shrug 3 has great scenes of what seem to be the Rocky Mountains, music that enhances the storytelling, and a cameo appearance by Ron Paul. In the closing scenes, we see lights going out in skyscrapers as electric power fails. Dagny, who's still learning, exclaims, It's the end! Galt, an optimist, replies, No, it's the beginning. This is Steve Eastman for Wait Till You Hear This. Discover more stories like this one on our website, waittillyouhearthis.com. <laughs>